Welcome to Shortview Trends, your morning market here for Monday 25th of October. What matters today and this week for traders? Well, it's been fascinating price action in key equity markets over the last few trading sessions. Having had a strong first half of October, markets started to consolidate their gains over, over recent days. You can see that with the S&P 500 just about Yes, it's at a record high, edging high, but really in the last two or three trading sessions broadly sideways, as you can see on the chart in front of you now. That pattern's in fact more obvious in the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ 100 sideways clearly for the last three, four trading sessions, and even more obvious in certain European indices. Take the DAX, for example, as we're putting up in front of you now, sideways for the last five or six trading sessions. So various equity markets have clearly been consolidating their gains, tracking sideways. Interestingly, other key asset prices around the world, certain of them have been giving back their gains quite dramatically. Have a look at this copper price chart in front of you. The last couple of trading sessions, markedly weak. The same can be said of aluminium, nickel, and a number of other commodities. So the key question now with that kind of price action is the following. Are markets consolidating their gains ahead of another push higher? and preparing for that push higher, or indeed are they rolling over? Clearly of encouragement has been the price action over the last few trading sessions as those, as our key risk appetite models have unwound their sell signals, as you can see from the chart in front of you now, equity markets have traded sideways. They, in other words, they've held in as there's been a bit of risk aversion across the globe. As you can see with the combined RAG1 and RAG2 model in front of you now, the indicators come off sharply in the past few trading sessions, having been generating a sell at the early stage of last week and during the prior week. So that's encouraging price action from equity markets. Equally, it's earnings season and earnings in the US often act as an underpinning of equity markets and an underpinning of their upside. Having said that, a whole bunch of models remain at troubling levels, particularly volatility models, some technical models and so on. Take a look at this steepness of the VIX curve that we're putting up in front of you now, clearly still on sell. The key question, as I said, is are markets rolling over or are they simply consolidating their gains ahead of another push higher? And to see all the detail on our view on that, how we're playing this market, all of the models in more detail, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. Or equally, if you'd like a free trial, please click on the link below and enter your name and email address and we'll send you the daily rag for free for 10 trading sessions, no credit card details required. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, there's a number of key themes in markets. Most pertinently is the US earnings season, which continues this week with another 200 companies reporting earnings, particularly the big tech stocks, the FANG names, the key FANG names reporting throughout this week. That'll be watched closely. Secondly, we've got a number of central banks reporting this week and monetary policy meetings, in particular the ECB, with its meeting on Thursday, its announcement on Thursday, and then a press conference. But we've also got the Bank of Japan earlier this week and the Bank of Canada and the Central Bank of Brazil. Added to that, various bits of macro data are coming out. Over in the States, we've got durable goods orders and personal income and spending. And then we've got third quarter GDP for the US and various Eurozone countries later this week. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Monday, October the 25th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Simply search for Short View Trading and click on the subscribe button or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.